What up guys, Middle Age Gamer here. We're playing Train Simulator 2015, doing something a little bit differently. We're gonna do 60 frames per second in 720p as opposed to 30 frames in 1080p. So hopefully it works out a little bit better for you guys. I got a special route for you as well. Since we're doing the new 60 frames per second, we gotta do a really fast scenario. And so I went out and got the Chengdu to Zuning high speed route. We're going to go ahead and do the uh, standard scenario number two. It's uh, raining outside, it's springtime, and it's the fast service to Jijin, I believe. And it says, today you'll drive a train to Jijin with only one stop at Kangshan. Just a, a horrible guess in the pronunciations of those. But let's go ahead and get on into it. It's about 30 minutes long, medium difficulty. Hopefully you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below. And of course, make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, along with following me on Twitch as well. There we go, it says, hello to drive train to Jijin. Don't be late, open the door, let passengers in. You'll leave at 1700, perfect. Let's go ahead and do what it tells us to. Do have our headlights on, which is positive. Definitely tell it's 720p as opposed to 1080p. At least I can. I guess we'll uh, we'll see how it does. I'm gonna go ahead and do something a little different too. I'm gonna go turn the hut off for this train. I don't think we need it. Hopefully we don't need it. It's raining, but it doesn't look like it's really nasty outside or anything. I'm not sure if they got the weather effects wrong or what's going on. It looks like it's clear as day outside. Right, let's wait for the passengers to finish loading here and then we'll be off on our way. Let's see how fast this train actually gets up to. T -t 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 today junior anytime now would be nice I guess good things are always worth waiting for right all right let's head off to Xingqin railway station let's go and get back in the cab so we can see what we're doing there's our throttle right there And we do have cruise control down here at the bottom. We're definitely going to be using that. And this is actually adaptive cruise control. It helps you slow down to about what you need to slow down to. So we're just going to leave that button pressed in for now. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think it actually goes up in speed when you leave the adaptive cruise control on. I think you have to actually manually turn it off or increase your speed. But I think on the reductions in tracks, it actually automatically gets you down to where you need to be. So hopefully that will help us out with the new HUD. If not, it could be simply screwing myself over. We'll see what happens, though. And you can see it keeps you usually about 5 miles per hour slower than the, uh, the track speed. So just keep that in mind. If you want to go 100% out, then you definitely want to uh, just control it manually so you can do 44, 45 miles per hour. Just waiting for the uh, restrictions to lift on the speed. Obviously, we are on a high speed train. Let's go take a look outside real quick. Kind of cool. We got billboards and cities off in the distance. And as you know, a lot of this uh, track is going to be raised, from what I know. All right, so adaptive cruise control is actually increasing our speed for us. Go ahead and just leave it on then for now. 
and you can see the track speed in the bottom right is 160 right there. We're doing about 98, hitting 100 right now. And we're getting on the raised portion as well. Really strange, it's like raining outside, but sunny. I don't know, it reminds me of Texas in some strange way. There we go. We got a green light, which means we can go the full track speed, which I believe is around 230 kilometers per hour, if I remember right. Oh, excuse me, 250 for the track. Pretty cool looking with the raised bridge and everything. I think that's pretty neat myself. And if you guys have been following me over the holidays, you know I've been streaming quite a bit. Gave away probably at least six, seven games the other day, playing Euro Truck Simulator 2. I think Train Simulator, we did the Game of Gnomes. And also played uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, which I've actually been playing quite a bit lately. And people like Crusher and Drew have been helping me out, so I appreciate you fellas for trying to get me started in flying. Still got a long, long way to go, but we're getting there. All right, so we're doing 235 kilometers per hour right now, still going up slightly. Just make sure I don't have any faults or anything going on. Again, playing with no HUD, so we'll see how it goes. I think with the adaptive cruise control, I should be able to, uh, to make this work. We'll see what happens, though. And we're definitely hauling ass. Smooth frame rate from what I can tell. Let's go ahead and turn the windshield wiper off. It's not raining anymore. So I was correct. It's uh, more of a clear day than anything. Take a look at the outside real fast as well. Beautiful, beautiful scenery in the background. I think these guys did a really good job on this route. I'm not going to lie. Very, very nice. Hopefully smooth for you guys since uh, YouTube now allows 60 frames per second. I may be doing the whole 720p from now on. We'll see what happens. Let's see if I can do a train by if it's going to put it on the ground. Oh, we got passenger view too. Very, very cool. Especially at the uh, frame rate we're getting right now. Very insane looking. And realistic for that matter. I don't know if you guys have been on any high speed trains, but it looks like you're going fairly slow even if you're doing over 100 miles per hour. Still need to do a passenger video at some point. We'll basically take the entire journey in the passenger's view. I think it'd be pretty cool. Maybe on the uh, London to Faversham route or something similar to that. We are hauling. To get, there we go, there's the train bar right there. Hopefully that's as smooth for you as it is for me. It's pretty insane looking instead of being so choppy. Insane. Absolutely insane. around so you can see again the majority of the high speed track is kind of raised up like this pretty neat
Now it's going to get back inside now. Stay here for a minute. And thanks to adaptive cruise control, I can even text someone back while playing and listening to the music. The only thing I got for Christmas, just so you guys know, I bought myself the uh, the new iPhone 6. It's pretty gigantic when you got the uh, case on it. But at least I didn't get the 6 Plus. That would have been a little bit worse. Passing a smaller station right now. Flying through there. Definitely recommend this route. This is my actually first route and loco that I bought that's actually from a third party and not directly available on Steam. I'm not sure why it's not on Steam. It's kind of strange that it's not, but highly highly recommend it the only problem is it doesn't have any career scenarios I feel like that's a major flaw um, it's only standard scenarios but again not gonna speed I'm gonna do everything like I would on a career scenario make sure to keep it 100 And lots of AI traffic on this route. Look like they're hauling ass as well. Take a quick look at the scenery here. Anyways, typically during my live streams, I always ask where everybody's from. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. What I want you to do if you're watching up to this point is go ahead and comment where you're from, put your hometown, country, state, wherever you're at in the world, go ahead and tell me what's up. As you guys know, I'm from San Antonio, not from San Antonio, I live in San Antonio right now. I grew up in uh, Italy and Germany, but I live downtown San Antonio right now. About to move yet again back to the uh, northeast side of town, and I'm going to rebuild my studio so it's even better hopefully bring you guys some better quality streams and videos in the future. Just going to get back in the cab here. Okay, we still got full track speed right now. I'll try to explain it once we uh, start reducing speed on what's happening. Give you guys an idea. I'm not 100%, I think this is how far we are from the station right here. You can see the little yellow bar coming down. So we're about nine kilometers out. That should change to eight right now. There you go. Pretty neat feature right there so you know how far away and when you need to start braking. Again we have our adaptive cruise control on so we're going to take a close look once we start getting warning lights to slow down. Alright so we're going to get down to 230. You can see it's automatically reducing the speed. So again typically it goes about 5 miles per hour, 5 kilometers less 
or five kilometers per hour. Can't talk less than what it actually states on there. So it should go down to 225. There it goes at 225, five kilometers out from the station, it looks like. Starting to get into the uh, caution zone as we get closer to the station here. So we're getting down into under 200 kilometers per hour. And we'll keep going down and down. I believe the uh, slowest speed is around 45 kilometers per hour as you head into the station. We've got some raindrops coming. I wonder if it's about to start raining again. Definitely some strange weather. All right, getting under 160, about two kilometers out from the station. getting down to 90 kilometers per hour and then I believe down to 45 as we get to the station here and first tunnel looks like it's coming up I've yet to go through a tunnel on this route I just did kind of the introduction which is about 20 minutes long just to get uh, familiar with all the controls on here but this is definitely my first tunnel so you guys are experiencing the craziness of what's about to happen <laughs> It's not that crazy, let's be honest. Turn the windshield wiper off while we're in the tunnel here. And getting down to 45, so the station's definitely coming up. Windshield wiper back on. And it's going to take a second to get into the station, doing about 40 here. Really wish I could play you guys music. At least uh, let you guys hear what I'm listening to. It makes the game that much more better. But YouTube and their uh, copyright policies keeps us from playing good music to you guys. So um, feel free to turn something on Spotify or Pandora in the background while you watch if you want to. All right, switching off the high speed track. Of course, we're picking up passengers over here. Let's go ahead and turn the windshield wiper off since we're under the covering here. And it looks like it's actually going to stop the train for us too, which is pretty insane if that's the case. It'd be awesome if that's what happens. It looks like it is. And we're definitely on the track, which is what we want to be. We're going to open the doors for the passengers. So we got three nurses in green getting on and their scrubs. Modeling all around is pretty good. No one's walking on the uh, platforms as far as I can tell. I mean on the actual track itself.
pretty uh, real life timetables here. It's not just stop and go like some of the career scenarios that you do on the game. And since we're at a stop, I might do a shot real quick. Thanks to uh, whatever bottle that would be. I don't want to get sued by the uh, manufacturer, but if you're on my live stream, you can see what I've been drinking, taking shots of. Just doing a baby shot, pretty much. Anyways, go, uh, go Spurs, go. Since I'm from San Antonio, cheers everybody out there. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in. Yum. As my face gets slightly warmer. Again, pretty real life timetable here. Still waiting for passengers, which is typical. get a slightly different view as the door closes. T -t 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 Today, Junior, let's get this going. Maybe too real to life, I don't know. Too realistic. See these hotties are coming down the platform here. No, don't get on. No, no, no. Come on back. Come on back. Oh, I tried. I'm trying to help you guys. Look like they're in the Air Force or something. I don't know. This guy's like, why is this train not leaving yet? There you go. Get on, buddy. Oh, is the Air Force lady coming down here? Nope. I guess the Air Force is in the front of the train. I don't know. Oh, man. It's going to be a long wait. I might have to do another shot. Of course, as soon as I look away from the door, it's going to close on me. I know it. Ooh, can we get inside right there? Oh, that was so close. Oh, there you go. Wow, that's pretty neat. The uh, windows are still a little bit wet. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool inside. You can see how fast you're going. It actually updates with your speed and it's telling you where you're going as well right there. Cause I got bad, oh, hello. So I got awesome Chinese skills. It's cool, I don't mind waiting. Wait like this forever. And ever, ever. Adaptive cruise control is off right now. I'll manually control it initially. station you heard the man let's go ahead and put our throttle up real quick get 
get moving forward here. And we can go up to, it looks like 90 kilometers per hour right now. As we get back onto the main track, let's go ahead and set our adaptive cruise control right there. And you can see we got greater than 10 kilometers to go to the next station. Luckily, if we're doing 250 kilometers per hour again, which we're about to start doing, that should go by relatively quickly. So. Go ahead and grab yourself a beer, grab yourself some, uh, some wine, some Kool-Aid if you're under 21, whatever uh, floats your boat. And hang out with me, relax for a little bit as we head to our final station. If you guys have any constructive criticism, please let me know. Obviously, I'm a little bit boring. I'm not going to be a comedian the whole time. Serious business for transporting passengers for that moolah. I know people got pissed off on my uh, construction simulator video because I was cussing too much. No cussing in train simulators. It's family oriented business right here. It's all about the money. Alright, looks like we got max speed, so we're uh, definitely getting up to about 245 kilometers per hour here at 180 right now, of course. Again, really hope you guys like 60 frames per second. I think it's pretty interesting. Is it interesting or interesting? Or does it really matter? Tomato, tomato? Who knows? Definitely picking up speed. Let's go ahead and do some uh, some train buys here in a second after we look at the scenery here. You can see the mountains go all the way off in the distance with the rolling hills. Pretty interesting. Pretty cool. Let's see this guy go by at full speed too. Did they ever build that like 4,000 kilometer railway system in China or is this part of it? Back in the cab for another tunnel, second tunnel with you guys. Go back outside. Let's do some train buys real quick. Since we are hauling ass. somewhat basic but I mean this is probably pretty true to the actual line a lot of its countryside obviously China is not exactly the uh, most built up place in life unless you go to places like Hong Kong or something similar to that passing a smaller station here again you can see we're on the fast track not on the platform side Ooh, that's pretty cool right there. 
past a little lake or something. It's going to get inside for this tunnel coming up. And you can see we're already getting pretty close to the station. We're about five kilometers out from the actual station here. So again, this is uh, definitely one of the shorter scenarios. And there's actually a second locomotive you can use with this route, so I plan to do a video on that. Look at that, it's pretty cool. Not a bad looking train in itself. If, especially if you guys are getting this in 60 frames per second, I think that's pretty badass. Nerding out over here. Three kilometers out. No faults or anything. Everything looks like it's going good. Computer systems are definitely helping me out. Speaking of that, I need to start learning how to use the computer systems or the flight planners like in Flight Simulator and things like that. That's my next step. I've been practicing basically taking off and landing. I still need to do um, start up from cold and dark at some point too but that's all in the future once i get all that down definitely will be releasing some videos on youtube but i just don't want to release an amateur style video of flight simulator and have people just heckle me the whole time I'm not doing it for views people i'm doing it for the realism and unless i can do it somewhat realistic i'm going to hold off and actually doing the video let me go and get back to the side since we're slowing down Let's see about just a kilometer out or so and getting under 90 kilometers per hour and then down to 45 so the station should be right up here got a little city off to the side over there very Chinese looking in its own way no racism involved Doing 40 kilometers per hour into the final station here. And we'll see how I did. Since I don't have a uh, HUD up, I have no clue if I actually sped. If I'm not on time with the, uh, the station I'm supposed to be at, we'll see what happens though. I think I did a thousand of a thousand. If it was a career scenario, of course it's standard, unfortunately. And it should pull me off the high speed track right here to the left I'm assuming yep there it goes let's go ahead and get a, a view of that switching right there back inside make sure it is stopping it is stopping there I don't see a whole lot of Chinese people Jijin okay going to open the doors right there let everybody off Again, this is going to be our final station. If you got to this point, go ahead and comment below. We got to the final station. And show me some love. Yeah, everything's off. We're stopped. That's good. Wait until the scenario ends here in just a second. It's kind of cool. You see the escalator moving a little bit there. A little cheesy, but I mean, a nice little touch to uh, the same guy standing next to each other. There you go, job's done. Let's go ahead and X that off. Okay, so everything was perfect. We traveled about uh, 42 miles, which is 69 kilometers. No faults or anything. Picked up passengers at three out of three platforms. So we're good. That's basically all you can do on there. Let's go ahead and make sure we get the check mark real quick. 
as you see, I don't really do a whole lot of standard. So that's it. That was uh, standard scenario number two. Thank you guys for watching the Middle Age Gamer. Check you guys next time. Peace.